All right, so here we are. We're gonna pick the what? Week nine. Yeah, week nine. We missed week the nine. Thursday night game. Yeah, we missed the Thursday night game. It's Saturday currently, so we got the early game. What's the early game? The early game is the Miami Dolphins in Germany against the at-home Kansas City Chiefs. I said on the car ride here, man. I'm 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 disappointed and I'm upset that Germany gets this. Yes. Game. This is the marquee game of the year, I think, because the Dolphins are on it, the Chiefs are on it. Except yeah. for losing to Denver last week, but we're, we're, we're just gonna water underneath the bridge. Why? The right. Chiefs are their Chiefs. Patrick they're gonna, Mahomes, they're gonna get Kelsey. together. You know, I, I don't think that Taylor Swift's gonna make the trip out. She's not going to. She better make the trip out, dude. Yeah. So right now well, I got the Chiefs winning, so she better make that trip out. And I, I do think the Chiefs win, but man, Ty, this is what I'm also disappointed about because the Chiefs are the acting home team. I really wanted Tyreek Hill to have that homecoming in Kansas City, like. I know that they probably wouldn't boo him because there was no, like, I don't feel like there was any bad blood. You know, though, no. you know, the, the, he got traded and it was kind of surprising to me. I mean, I'm a Colts fan on the outside looking in. Um, but he goes and, you know, he's playing well in, in Miami, but they go and win the Super Bowl without him. So, you know, the fans wouldn't be bitter. But now it's in, it's in Germany. And that's one hell of a game to get, you know, for, for those fans out there. And it's at 9.30 a.m. Yeah. as well. Colts play Our out there time. next week, same time. Oh, they play against yeah. the Patriots. That's imagine a getting, schedule. Imagine getting the 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 Dolphins, Chiefs, and then going right back on oh, Patriots, Colts when they're yeah. both like below five hundred. Yeah. But but yes, you said the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs as well. I think the Chiefs by by seven. Yeah. Uh, I think the Chiefs probably by ten. By close 10? to it. Just because yeah. the Chiefs have a really good defense right now. Yeah. And the Dolphins have not looked good against good defenses. That's right true. Now. Uh, like, they can barely – I don't think they put up more than 24 points. Like, against the Ravens, they could barely even put up 20 points on the board. They struggled against the Ravens' defense. So yeah. I'm thinking Chris Jones is going to really going to shut them down, and they'll okay. probably win by 10. Okay. All right. What we got next? All right. Next game is the Minnesota Vikings with Jaron Hall because Kirk Cousins is out for the season Oof. against the at-home Atlanta Falcons. You got to – yeah, he's no, a Colts we're doing, fan. We're, we're recording this way. No oh, problem. Way. Yeah, we're doing a little <laughs> show good. here. No oh, problem. Okay, yes, Indianapolis. Oh, cool. oh awesome. Hi. Oh, wow. Oh, you're a Colts fan? Go Colts. Hey, go you Panthers. Go Beach Grove? Awesome. My mom's wow. from Beach Grove. That's cool. Yes. Yep, next, we got the Vikings at the Falcons. Earlier, you said the Desmond Ritter got benched, right? Desmond Ritter got benched for Taylor Heineke. Well, so. Heineke's not bad. No, Heineke is actually a pretty solid QB. Uh, he took Washington to the playoffs you yeah. know, the past two years. Yeah. Uh, you know, quick playoff exits. I don't think they really got anywhere in the playoffs. But, I mean, to be able to lead the team to the playoff run, especially in that tough division, Yeah. I mean, that's impressive. Now, granted, though, that defense is pretty slim now. You know, trading away Chase Young and Montez Sweat. So, we'll see, you know, how the Washington recovers from that. But for the Falcons as well, though, you know, um, they're a really good home team. Yeah. Um, they only have uh, one loss at home so far this season. So if you're going on the road, especially for Minnesota Vikings with Darren Hall starting for the Minnesota Vikings now, with Kirk Cousins being done for the rest of the season. Yeah, that's very brutal. unfortunate. Very unfortunate you know, season in, in, injury for sure. But for the Vikings going on the road to take on the Falcons, uh, for me it's got to be Falcons, man, at home. Falcons, yeah, Falcons, man. I'd... Minnesota's done. Yeah. And I, they're done. They're locked room. I mean, that was that that, that just deflated that entire yeah. team. You know, really I hate is. that. I really, I really hate that for them. But yeah, Atlanta for sure. Uh, next game we got here. We got the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Baltimore Ravens in Maryland. So that'd be a good one, man. Gonna be a really good one. Yeah, we got a good uh, start this week. It looks like the favorite to win is Baltimore by a whopping eighty-nine percent and eleven percent point for the Seattle Seahawks. I don't understand that. What's this app? No, this is pro pick em that pro I'm using pick em? right now. Okay, so, so according to pro pick em. Okay, so Baltimore at home, man. Give me Baltimore home. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually uh, going to take the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. Uh, just because the Baltimore Ravens haven't been consistent. Like, they lost that game at home against the Indianapolis Yeah, Colts, they did. Yeah. Uh, Gardner Minshew at the home. So, I don't know. Uh, I do like Lamar Jackson. I like the Baltimore Ravens. They are a really great team. They yeah. can be great. A great dynasty, but... They just seem inconsistent at times. So I'm going to have yeah. to go to Seattle Seahawks right now. Yeah. All right. The next game, Cleveland Browns. They host the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals suck. Uh, Kyler Murray, he's not playing this week. Yeah. Right I think now. he was practicing a little bit, but he's not playing. So who's your guy? 
That's uh, not Josh Dobbs now. They traded him to Minnesota. They got this, I think he's a rookie, Clayton Toon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nobody knows this No name. way, bro. Dude, they're uh, going to eat him alive. That, that Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett's getting like Bet four Miles sacks. Garrett to be, a, like, you got like four sacks at least with Miles Garrett. For yeah, sure. It's going to be insane. Cleveland wins. I, I think they have a chance to get a shutout, honestly. Um, got, uh, the Packers, Lambeau. Lambeau Field in the frozen tundra. I don't think we're quite there yet. Not quite to the snow yet. Not quite. But they, they host the Rams. Now, you said that earlier the Rams. They're out without Matthew Stafford. Yes. Yeah, so they got Brett Ripien started at the helm. He's been in the league for a long time, but, again, he's always just been, you know, second, third round, or third, yeah. you know, depth chart guy. Yeah. So he's not a great player by any means. The um, Packers are two and five. That's, that's not great. Packers aren't doing too hot either, but I still like yeah. the Green Bay Packers, Jordan Love, at Lambeau. At home. Definitely. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. All right, so uh, the next game we got here is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road in Houston take on the Texans, led by C.J. Stroud. Who do you got winning that one also? Surprisingly enough, give me the Texans, man. I know the like Texans, Texans lost to the Panthers, man. Back at home. Buccaneers, I don't believe in them. They're three and four. They started off three and one. Did they start yeah, off undefeated? They started off, yeah, they started off really hot. And then it's been crashing ever since. Yeah. Uh, I, th this I, game sucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is a dumpster fire game. <laughs> when you're watching the Red Zone channel, they're, they're not going to go to Yeah, they're not going to go to it. It's definitely going to be a defensive game for sure. Yeah. Well, an uh, offensive struggle maybe. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's not that C.J. Stroud can't move the ball. Because he, he has been moving the ball yeah. pretty solid. But, I don't know, it's just these offenses don't flash to me. They don't pop out to me. Uh, so. Defense is also playing really well too. Yeah. I mean, even though Tampa Bay, you know, they drop you know, most of their games on the road these past four stretches. But, I mean, even, even including that, their defense has still been solid. Yeah. I still uh, got to go with Houston, though. Unfortunately. Yeah. I know you're rooting for the Bucks. I, I, I'm not rooting for the Bucks oh, by I'm any sorry. means. You're rooting for the Texans. Uh, I'm I, rooting I am Bucks. rooting for the Texans, but I do have the Bucks, Bucks to win this game. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's kind of crazy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, New England, they're 2-6. and six. They're hosting the Washington Commanders, who 3-5. This game also kind of sucks. Who, who's starting for Commanders quarterback? Uh, Commanders is Sam Howell. Sam Howell's actually okay, been too okay. bad. He's not too bad. He's too pretty, bad. pretty good. But uh, I'm not, Mac Jones isn't, you know, he doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Matt, Mac Jones, obviously, he's not looked like, you know, the guy, the first round pick yeah. that they were hoping for yeah. this season. He's been dropping the ball big time. But, um, I mean, right now, I am going to go with New England just because Bill Belichick's on fire right now. He desperately needs a win. He's yeah. at home. Washington Commanders are a team that just traded away all their entire defensive value. Yeah. Uh, all their, you know, pedestals on their defense. Yeah, and that's so got to be deflated for a lot Exactly. Of so this team is not ramped up. Uh, they are they know they're tanking this yeah. season. So uh, give me New England. On, so on so Montez Sweat went to Chicago, and he just signed yeah. a big extension with him. And yep. then CJ, you know, Chris, what's his name? Chase Young. Chase Young. Chase Young. Just went to the San Francisco 49ers as if, as if they needed it. Yeah, know, really. Fans. For a third round pick, for a, too. For a, for a third round pick. So I, I don't see Washington winning too many games this year, dude. Yeah. I, you know, yeah, give yeah. me New England, man. They're going to stay right there at those three wins for the rest of the season. Maybe one more maybe win. Maybe one more win. Against like the Giants or something. Yeah, <laughs> against, yeah, maybe the Giants. But other than that, no, no. Uh, next game we got here, we got the uh, New Orleans Saints at home taking on the Chicago Bears. Is, mm -hmm. is Fields out again? Yes, Fields yeah. is. Right now, Fields is still out. Ooh, uh, it could be a game time decision, but don't count on him playing. No, I, especially on the road. And yeah. New Orleans, like, just, man. And the Bears suck, you know. I mean, hey, these past two weeks, though, DJ Moore's been get, catching some balls. Uh, yeah. I don't think he looked too good last week, but the week prior to that, like, what, he got, like, two touchdowns or yeah. whatever. So, like, I don't know, man. There is hope. Uh, just depends on how Tyson Badgett plays. Uh, he didn't really ball out last week by any means. But, um, I don't know. Uh, I, I do have New Orleans winning this game, unfortunately. I'm, yeah. I'm not rooting for New Orleans by any means. But uh, Chicago, I could see him pulling it out, though. I, I, I don't I don't want to disagree with, with Chicago. I think New Orleans got it. I don't think Chicago has a chance. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, all right. What's up next? What's that one All next right, one? next game, obviously the biggest game of the week for us. Yes. It's the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Carolina Panthers. Yep. The whole uh, reason we're here. Yes, the whole reason why we're here. Yep. Uh, obviously, we both have very biased opinions. Yes. So, I, I got the Carolina Panthers. Um, and, I, and I got the Colts on the road. 
that my reasoning is behind this is that uh, we do have a great defense, even though our secondary is banged up right now. But like we still, you know, shut out CJ Stroud. He's yeah. been balling last week, so our defense still definitely still has that potential. Frankie Louvu is killing it for us right now. Yeah. Um, I just think that as long as we can limit that passing game, which Gardner Minshew definitely does need that passing game, kind of on. Jonathan Taylor is a great running back, but so far this season he has not wowed me by in any of his games yet. So that means he's due. That's I mean, what that I, means. You know, it does mean he's due, but I don't think uh, Frankie Louvu is gonna. Well, I, go we're gonna find out, Burn, Burns as well. This is one. This is one of those weird things. I I've never been to a game where, where I've been with like an opposing you know fan, opposing team's fan at the game. That's so that's unprecedented. I'm excited, man. That's I can't wait, man. Um, next game, these are the four o'clock games. We got the Giants. They suck at the Raiders. They suck. They suck. They just fired. <laughs> they just fired their coach and general manager. And general manager. Yeah. They're certain Aiden O'Connell. Uh, <laughs> give me the Raiders in a, in a <laughs> rally, bro. Honestly, just like when Jeff Saturday took over for the Colts, came out of the gates, yeah. guns blazing against the Raiders, yeah. and won that first game. I think that's going to happen with Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah, New York Giants. They just lost their identity. Dude, they not, don't even know. A good team, I don't even think they know where they're at on the field right no. now. Two and six. No, they don't have it. What we got next. Oh, uh, this is ooh. probably America's game of the week. I yeah. guarantee you. It's the Philadelphia Eagles at home with the Dallas Cowboys coming to town. So, great rivalry game. Hate each other. I think me and you were both talking about this in the car. Yeah. As we're predicting it to be a very defensive game. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to expect to, you know, like not 30 plus followers. points. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, especially at Philadelphia's defensive front. And yep. you got Dallas's defensive front on top of that, Michael Parsons. Mm hmm. Yeah, give me like you know probably less than thirty-eight points total in this game. Yeah, take the under. So you take saying take the under. Take the under. Um, sure. I went to Dallas, right, and my Uber driver was telling me they have to have police and, and security <laughs> to the max whenever the Eagles and Cowboys get together in Dallas. So I can only imagine what it's like in Philadelphia, and that's where it is. And get home field advantage, man, especially in Philly, Philly that's a big deal. Yeah. That's a big deal, and this is a big game. I mean, this could, Philadelphia could really take control in this division. They're seven to one right now. Dallas is five and two. If they win, Dallas would drop to five and three. It'd go to eight to one. Eight and one. They'd, they'd have a chokehold on the division. Yeah. So this is a big game for Philadelphia. It's almost like a playoff game. Yeah, it really is. Really season, is. Especially if the divisions, you know, coming down, it could come down to a tie, and everybody's in most divisions. Yeah. Wins, so you need every divisional win that you possibly can yeah. get. So I would say I would be disappointed if that that's not the night game, but we've got a we've got a good night game. Great night game. Yeah. I am stoked for this night yeah. game. Yeah. Me and you are definitely going to watch this in the car on our way back yeah. to Indy. I'm going to listen. I'm, I'm going to have to drive. <laughs> but, yeah. Yes. But we got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Cincinnati Bengals at home. Uh, give me the Bengals all the way. The, Bengals, yep. Bengals. Just beat the Niners on the road. Joe Burrow is back. He is Joe Burrow is yeah. back in town. So shiesty. Oh, yes. my God, dude. And he's back in Cincinnati against the Bills, dude. I mean, this is honestly becoming a really a rivalry. You know, we talk about the 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 Chiefs. They have a big rivalry with the Chiefs, the Bengals do. But the Bills and the Bengals, they're becoming a big rivalry. It, well, how we're, what this comes down to is the Buffalo Bills or Cincinnati Bengals have to beat one of the other in the playoffs yep. for the right to play that's, the Kansas City Chiefs to go to the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> be, yeah. exactly I agree. Goes. Give me the home team and the Bengals. Uh, one last one. Um, Dumpster fire game. Yeah. Well, it's a Monday night game. It's, I mean, we're going to watch it, I, I guess. The Jets are hosting the uh, Chargers. Ch <laughs> Jets, I think yeah. Jets are 4 and 3. Imagine this team with Aaron Rodgers. The healthy oh, Aaron man. Rodgers, you with know? a healthy Aaron Rodgers, this team would, you know, easily be 7 and 1 right now. Something, yeah, like Easy. that. I mean, that defense is incredible. This defense has literally carried them to those four wins. Yeah. This is because Zach Wilson, I. I I still kind of do like Zach Wilson, I'm not going to lie. I do have hope that he can be a good quarterback yeah. one day. But as of right now, he's just really struggling to get comfortable in the pocket. Uh, I'd like to be able to see him, like, kind of use his legs a little bit more. Yeah. Kind of get comfortable a little bit more. But as of right now, he just hasn't figured out his identity. So he's just been really struggling. But Justin Herbert, this guy does know his identity for the most part, but his team doesn't. Yeah. Uh, his only rock-solid player on his team is Keenan Allen. Yeah. That's it. Other than that, it's they just show they've been very inconsistent. There's games that they should win, yeah, and they just lose them. Yeah, I don't trust the coaching. Yeah, I, I, I get, I'm gonna take the Jets in this one. I don't like Brandon Staley. I don't think that they were a very good coach. Um, Justin I, I, Herbert's I'm, talents that is not being utilized to the best of his ability. I, I feel like because the New York Jets have already knocked off the Chiefs, 
Yeah. Or the Eagles, I mean. They knocked off the Eagles in that, you know, kind of upset game. I feel like this is a, a game that they're not really – they're kind of underestimating the Chargers. Yeah. So, I'm taking the Chargers about yeah. this game. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's it. That's the picks. We're getting a phone call right now. We're duty calls. We got Pete's on the way. We got the, a, an amazing camera lady right behind the camera. <laughs> she is fr absolutely thrilled to be helping us out. But we made the trip. We're all tired. My wife wants to sit down. Pizza's, pizza's wanting to get eaten. I'm hungry. You know, that's the picks, though. We got all these picks. Man, it's, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for holding it. Thank you for everything. That's it. Thank you.